Hey y'all and welcome to uh, Watch Girl Scrap Live with Project Mouse for the uh, eighth uh, fan anniversary. Today is Saturday, March 20th, and um, this is our afternoon session, the final session um, of the live scrap. And um, if you were here for the last one, uh, you know, I had to abruptly stop. I wasn't feeling well. I had the COVID vaccine, so um, it's been a rough couple of days, but I am feeling better this afternoon and I'm ready to scrap all the magic. Uh, you can see on my screen, I have some pictures of, it's actually uh, Christmas lights, but the pop collection, I don't know, when I was looking through my photos, I was like, oh, that that's perfect for these photos. So I'm going to see what I can do with those. Also, I wanted to share with you um, the, I posted in the Project Mouse Facebook group, but just in case, I'm popping the link here for the 3D Mickey head. I finally got that ready and I'll be posting it in the forum as well too. But there you go, it's in the chat. And I apologize for the delay in getting that to you. Thank, thank you for that, Cheryl. I'm yeah. sure everybody's gonna like it. Yeah, I can't wait to yeah, start with it myself. So nice of you to make that for us. Um, it was funny because somebody had said, uh, you know, talked about it in the Facebook group. And sometimes when you're following instructions, it's sometimes easier when you watch someone to uh, do it. And that video will actually be uploaded <laughs> when this session is finished. So we'll get all all three of the sessions um, up and available on YouTube. Um, yeah, I you. agree. It's much easier for me to watch. <laughs> so if you need to learn how to make those, definitely watch for that replay. It was excellent. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to make that smaller and push this down. There are, of course, a okay. ton of thank you, Cheryl, in the chat. Oh, thank you guys. All right, uh, I think what I'm going to do, and which I've done this before um, with photos that I really, you know, thought I wanted to have a big uh, impact. So I like doing these where I can inset a smaller photo, but still let that big one, um, you know, be the star. So that's my thinking right now. <laughs> where I'm going with this. And I'm gonna add my photo edge on here. Is this I the Osmond lights? What? Go ahead, Courtney. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll let her go first. Is that for the, like the, is it the Osmond family spectacular or whatever they do at Christmas time? Yes, and I, didn't they stop doing it? I think they said that. That year that we went, 2015, they, that was the last year, but. Yeah, Osborne, right? That's what they're called, Osborne. Osborne. Family Life. <laughs> yeah. I never, I've never seen that. I know, I've only ever seen pictures. I've never seen them in person, but yeah, they did. They yeah. did stop doing that. Here, I'll open up Lightroom real quick and show you a couple of other pictures if nobody's seen it. It's like a whole area and. Um, yeah, I went in 2007 and they were there and I didn't realize it was something special. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, this is just, this is just magic. Yeah, <laughs> and I haven't been back, so I didn't know it was special. Okay. Sorry, with all these prob uh, programs open, it is um, taking a bit to pull all these <laughs> images up, I guess. Okay, so, and I've talked about this before, I use um, Lightroom not only to edit my photos, but it's a great way for me to track what I've scrapped and not scrapped. They have this great little feature in there where you can use color coding. So you can see I've already marked the photos that I've pulled onto my layout um, and I use purple for scrapped. And so that's a quick and easy way for me to see, you know, whether I have 
scrap something. Oh, that's a good tip to kind of keep them so, organized. Yeah, and if you have Lightroom, um, you know, you can do that. And I recently discovered that you can actually set it for the whole folder. So you can see this little purple here. So I can just go through and, and see which ones I've already finished or not. And there's so many I haven't done yet. But here are the, yes, the Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights. So I learned something in the chat about that. Kat said 2015 is actually the last year they did it. Mm -hmm. And it was the family lived in Little Rock, Arkansas, and their light display grew so big and became a problem for their neighbors. So that's how it ended up at Disney. Oh, wow. I had no idea. I didn't okay. either. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I mean, I'm reading it on the internet, so I don't know, but I, I trust Kat. She usually knows that kind of Disney tip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, I have so, a question. Yes. So, get, so when you're going through your photos like this, mm -hmm. now I'm a kind of person who I want like five or more photos. Yeah, me, up, too. Right me too, for sure. So when you are picking, how do you know which one, like is it just instinct, you know, like, okay, I just want this one, this one on this layout, and then I'll make layouts of the others or like, what's your, I just want to know what your, how does your brain work? Like, <laughs> you're picking what you want on a page. Um, well, I know for this one, I was really drawn to the colors. Um, yeah. So I was like, oh, and then the picture of me and my dad and stepmom happened to be right after that picture. And I was like, oh, this would be a good thing. Cause, um, and I'll scrap, I'll journal about this after the live session, but, um, my dad and stepmom paid for us all to go. Um, so it was our Christmas present that year. And um, special. and all my siblings were there except um, <clears throat> one of my sisters. And so I think on this night though, my brother and his wife and two kids, um, they were doing something else. I think in Magic Kingdom, I think they were doing a character meet and greet or something and then uh, Jay and Daniel went back to ride rides in the Magic Kingdom as well so um, so it was me and my sisters and my dad and stepmom to see the lights so it, it was pretty cool but um, yeah I mean some of these pictures aren't great and of course you know um, like right after this is when I got my Google Pixel so Oh God, what was it? A Motorola, I think is what I had. And um, it took pretty good pictures and I decided not to take my big girl camera uh, just because of, um, you know, lugging it around, back pain. And um, I was sad yeah. afterwards when I was like, I really should have taken my big girl camera. <laughs> but, oh, that really good. Uh, yeah, but I was able to enjoy the moment and I still have something yeah. to, um, it's yeah. kind of a happy medium at Disney. It's so hard because you want to capture everything so you remember it, but you do have to remember to be in the moment sometimes too and just be like, I'll just remember yeah. this in my head this time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for, so. For your, so for your choice um, on the layout, then you just, it was more of an artistic choice of the colors that you wanted to scrap, right? Right. That's what your, right. That's your answer. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that was why I chose tonight. And then other times, um, like when I continue scrapping this, I know I'll want to do a single page, uh, not with crazy eye, Cheryl, but um, <laughs> this this one here. Um, uh, that is my stepsister, Emily. And really, I mean, she's not a stepsister. I, she's been in our family since she was one and a half. Um, but I'll want to do one of her, and then I want to do one of me and my sister, um, Anna. So, and then of course there are all of us there, and I think I'll do a a single page of that, just that one photo. But, so Angela has a question, and I okay. I know it's all going to be a different answer, so I think it'll be a fun one. 
So she doesn't have a lot of Project Mouse, but what Project Mouse kit or collection do you use the most? Like what's a good one to start with? Mm, that is a good question. That's such a great question. Because I know like. we talked about favorites earlier and it was the beginnings and the vibe, but which mm -hmm. one do you think you would start I would with? have to say vibe is a very good place to start. It's a very clean look. You could use it for pretty much anything or the basics mm -hmm. number one, you could lose, use on any subject. It's, you know, primary colors. So Britt, what would you say? Or number two. I would say, I yeah. like, I love number two so much. It's really basic. It's very versatile. If you don't love vibes, like if you're not feeling it, because it is kind of just a definite, definite style. Like if you're not into that mod style, you know, I think classics is a really good one. Like, or not classics. Sorry, I said classics because I was thinking about it. But I, I think uh, number two. Yeah. yeah, project. It's like just it's just called number two. <laughs> yeah. What is the real thing? I won't try to see. Yeah. I have a question uh, for you because I know she's in Europe. Have you guys ever been to any of the Disneylands outside of the U.S. or Disney Worlds or whatever? I have not. No. No, I haven't. <clears throat> I want to. I mean, it's it's on our our goal list for sure someday. Yeah. But nope. I thought we were gonna get there this coming year, and then COVID happened. So <clears throat> yeah, we. Were so yeah, so travel travel's always up in the air right now. <laughs> oh, right? Or outside. Clearly I love this paper. Yeah. Well, I love it too, and it's so cute with the lights so twinkly. <laughs> Section for the background there. Just yeah. a little strip right here. You're just so clever to think of this for these pictures because for me I would be like Christmas. Christmas, 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 like, because they're Christmas lights. <laughs> but you're right, like, when you look at the pictures, they don't scream Christmas because they're those such fun, funky colors, you know? Yeah. A Christmas kit and, probably wouldn't do it justice. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you can see here, there's lots of, you know, um, I'll be pulling out my, and I may go into um, the Christmas um, Project Mouse set, which I can't and, remember what it's called. Oh. Cheryl, you know what I think of also when I see this page with those lights? I think that magical card that Brittany did in this collection, too, would kind of look fun, too. Oh, oh yeah, yes. yeah. Like a black oh, card. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. And it looks I gotta like go find oh. that before I forget. And there's even, like, glow stuff where it talks about glow, like, which works good for, this, like, nighttime photos and stuff. Yeah. And I think the, it's just Christmas. That's what it, you're, 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 it's just called Christmas. <laughs> just Christmas. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. the part I was talking about. I thought that would be really fun. Okay. Yeah. There we you go. You don't have to use it. <laughs> That's what we should be doing. We should be, we should, we should tell, just sit here and throw out all of our suggestions and make her do. <laughs> yeah. Make Pull that in. Pull that in. <laughs> Okay. And this and card, I haven't seen the lights because I used that Project Mouse Christmas with the Osborne because it does have some of the similar colors of those lights. Say, it is, it, for a Christmas kit, it's got some funky colors in it for sure. <laughs> it's not like super, super traditional Christmas colors. I hope that answers her question of where to start with getting some Project Mouse that you can use for everything. <clears throat> but the thing I love about Project Mouse is we really work hard and focus every single time to make sure that there's like versatile stuff in every kit even if it is on theme like mm -hmm. which is why i think they mix and match so well because we always want people to be able to use it for like a lot of pages and a lot of different things not just yeah you know one layout or whatever or or one type of layout even or one type of photo well, and to that point, somebody suggested the Tangled kit would work really well with these pictures too, Cheryl. So Ooh. it is pretty versatile. Because mm -hmm. it has those purple and gold kind of colors, you know. Okay. Hmm, I would have not have thought of it. <laughs> oh, this is happiness right here. So happy. 
I love how many artsy things you stacked on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking, but I was watching you do it and I was just laughing inside because I was like, okay, man. Oh, she's adding more. Okay, more and more. Yeah, more, more. <laughs> just kept yeah. going and going. Yeah. But they look amazing. And totally amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I always and... think that when I watch her, I'm like, wow, wow. And now I'm finding I'm starting to cluster because I've watched enough of these. I'm like, okay, Cheryl would add just one more. So I can add just one more. <laughs> just one more. Okay, <laughs> let me clip this. There. I like that saying, just one more. <laughs> Angela just says she more. learned to cluster from Cheryl too. <laughs> she is the master. I'll okay. bow down to so, the clustering master. I don't know that yours would be the same, um, but how do you organize your project mouse stuff? Um, uh, I just have a folder called project mouse, and then I, I just keep them with the names that we've created for them. And, and I, I mean, it is fun to even go through old collections because you forget all of the pieces, I mean, most of the pieces like Britt was talking about earlier can work for so many different things, but I don't organize them any way other than just Project Mouse and then I keep them in a folder. Yeah, by collection. So I have a Project Mouse folder and then um, I just have each collection has its own folder. And, you know, as designers, it's going to be our folders are going to look a little different probably because I've got all kinds of messy stuff in there. So like, yeah, you know, exactly. things I've worked on or like the PSD files for all the papers and cards and it's it like a mess but when I like if I organize stuff that I just purchased then I organize it by the designer yep that I that him that made it so I have a folder for each designer and then inside that folder I have like a kits folder and like it if it came in a kit and it all matches, then it goes in its own folder together. So I keep it all together. But if it didn't, so if it was just, I, I just bought like a paper pack or something, then that paper pack goes in like the papers folder. So like, I really do have a Celine Studio folder. This is for stuff that like we didn't make together. It's just Christmas stuff. And it has like a kit folder, like it has kit papers, whatever. And then inside of those, they're all by like kit or collection. So. Hopefully that made sense. I feel like I rambled a little bit there, but. Oh, that makes sense. I think uh, I do this. Project now, for Project Mouse, it's strictly, like I have a Project Mouse folder and they're all in there by collection. But it's yeah, funny yeah. that you were saying, like, it's fun to go back and look at old stuff because oftentimes I'll, I mean, we've made so many, mm -hmm. even though we made them, I complete, I forget. Like, mm -hmm. I'll be like, I wonder if we have a uh, blah, blah, blah. And so I'll like do a search. I use my search on my computer all the time and so I'll search through my hard drive or I'll search through just my project mouse folder and look for like all the bows or all the you know yeah. I'll look for stars or cameras or whatever and it'll show me all of them and I'm like oh yeah I made that camera oh gosh I have a lot I've made a lot of cameras yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you it's fun. or if he's like you need a certain like oh I need a carousel horse or something are there any and I'll go through and search and so that's, that's why I like to name all of my items that you get. Like if you download them, it won't just say like element one, element two. I, I like try to name of everything in a searchable right. way so that you can find things with the search. Mm -hmm. And I know that's probably harder, but I appreciate it so, so, so much. Well, as a scrapper, I have to have it. Like I need it for me. <laughs> so yeah. you guys can have it too, but I do it for, because I would not be able to find anything if I didn't, wasn't able to search for it. Okay, so I'll share um, the same, um, have the same kind of structure. So, scrapbook kids. Cheryl's way more organized than me. So, this is mm -hmm. a much better teacher we're about to have here than me. I'm <laughs> really unorganized. So, uh, I wouldn't go that far. But um, it, it used to be much more uh, organized. But I do have kits, the designer, um, and then um, Project Mouse has its own folder. And of course, I just keep them in here by their, you know, product name. 
right now um, the pop isn't in here because I just downloaded it so but this is what it looks like in Windows File Explorer so that's just a basic um, folder organization now I have a couple of different ways let me go ahead and switch the catalog <laughs> Okay, um, while that's um, switching catalogs, this is a program called ACDC, and I've used it for a very long time. And I love um, the way that you can um, quickly view products and tag them and stuff, but I have been burned by it a couple of times in that I've lost all my keywording. So um, often I'll just use it um, while I'm scrapping because I, I like the way it views. Um, but so you'll see here, let me go. Um, you'll see I made a category, uh, Project Mouse Pop plus Artsy plus Pins, and I stuck everything in there. Um, I just dragged that particular category so that when I click on it, um, I see everything. Um, that is in this collection. So I can quickly scroll through it and it's just nice to see it all that way. And then of course I have one just for Project Mouse and it's gonna take a minute to retrieve the information. But, um, and there's a couple of different ways that you can sort by a folder, um, but you can see, um, so it's nice when you're mixing collections to be able to. Yeah, that is, uh, that is neat how you can see into yeah. all collections like that. So okay. where was that Mickey Mouse little ice cream yeah, bar? Awesome. Which kid is that? Because I think I don't might not have that one and need it. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, <laughs> that's a freebie. Website. Yeah, under the freebie section. Yeah. OK. <laughs> we'll get that and download that for free. <laughs> yeah, oh it's that's so that, cute. Oh, where is yeah. that? <laughs> I did that for free. Project Mouse. That's yeah. before Project Mouse existed. That was another collab with Brett. Brit. Yeah. Um, it was the candy shop one. The yep, candy shop. Yeah. There it and, is. Yeah, that was like an add-on to that. <laughs> yeah. Before we, before we, way before Project Mouse. <laughs> well, we were still working together. We were still collaborating. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but in Lightroom, I do have, um, I have my kits in here. Again, it's following the same folder organization. So I think once you get that and, and your, you know, computer, then you'll do well. Um, but um, this, this way I can actually look at um, different uh, paper lines or, I want to search for a particular uh, thing inside of Project Mouse, I can, but um, let's see if I can, yeah. So then this will show me all those, and I could do filtering, and I can search for previews only. Um, so I can see all those at the same time. Um, yeah. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and close this because it's such a hog when I'm. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to this. In case you're not watching the chat, Krista beat me to it barely, but we, we have the little treats for those Mickey ice creams that we all need. <laughs> yes, they're so cute. That was from 2011. That was... I was going to say, what year is that? <laughs> they're so cute still, though. We love them way back then. <laughs> 10 years. It's funny to look at the blog post because so much of it is photo bucket and that's kind of not really a thing yeah. anymore. I'm surprised it's still on there. Like if they haven't pulled those pictures. <laughs> well, they have the little uh, whatever over top of it all, but. Watermark, yeah. 
<laughs> Jeanette's like, I have the candy kit. It has great colors. I'm like, yeah, now we'll all have to go find the candy kit. <laughs> One of my favorite layouts of all time is with that kit. I still think about that. Like when people say, what's, what's your favorite layout? I think there's like this one layout I did. And that's, you know, it's been 10 years, but funny how some layouts just kind of stick in your mind. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what about it I like. <laughs> Thinking back, I'm like, what was it I liked about it? But It was using that kit, you mean? Yeah. Or just... I gotta go no, search. I... Are you the primetime treats one? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's their, the image is still there too. <laughs> I love, Look at that. I love that. I love that layout. It's cute. I like it. Britt and Krista are my heroes for real. Aww. Let's see. That was Natalie. And then um, Megan says she thinks Candy Shop was one of the first Britons. Is it Sa Salin, right? Celine. I said it wrong. Celine. Celine. <laughs> okay, I just was working with another designer to figure out how to say her name, and your name is too close together. <laughs> so that she got way back then. Wow, that's a long time you've been scrapping with their stuff. That's awesome. That is awesome. awesome. I think that we worked together for years before I knew how to say your name, Krista. Like, I think we, it was like, I think you were on the podcast back when we were doing Capturing Magic or something. And that's when I finally learned I had been saying your name wrong for years. I thought it was Stalin too, my, like forever. Yeah. And I still have to remind myself. I, I remember Celine Dion. That's how I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody gets it wrong. It's fine. <laughs> I'm used it to it. Different than it sounds. Celine, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So you've been using Pop, Cheryl. Have you pulled other kits in too? Um, not yet. Uh, not yet? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I haven't been paying 100% because I was also finding other things. So I was like, mm, let me make sure the right answer, Amy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that side. I'm so crazy. I love how you're using those artsy, the hearts from mm -hmm. artsy. So. That's the scribble. I love like Scribbles. I love scribbles so much. Yeah. Great place to put the date. And I'm just. Yeah, I could go it. on and on and on making artsy stuff. It they're just so much fun. I think it's pretty apparent, like right, that people like <laughs> based on like what we have released recently. It's like we love pins. <laughs> we love artsy. Like we just can't stop. I could do artsy. Oh, forever. Only forever. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love these little gems. They are super oh, cute. Look oh, at them. So, so cute. They're perfect with those lights. They just make they look like little lights instead of gems, you know? That's cool. The lights in the photos. Well, Cheryl was singing again. I must be feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Britt, you do a lot of like artsy things in real life. I mean, you do a lot of drawing yeah. and painting, and so mm -hmm. it's natural that you love doing it Art, digitally. Too. Yeah, our, our artsy packs are really like the the closest those my two things kind of come together. Like you were talking about doodles and scribbles. Like that's I love that. So that's in real life and in digital. So. All right, so let's go find some other stuff just because Ooh. we can. Yeah. We need something to indicate Christmas, right? Got to give some little Christmas touch. <laughs> Britt wants Christmas. Christmas. Well, you know what I mean. Something not traditionally Christmas, but. For those who don't know, she's Cheryl is scrapped on two monitors, and so she's got her other monitor where she's looking through oh, her yeah. goodies. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'll, I'll but, drag the program over so you can see. I'm just kind of ooh. Disney Cheryl says the Christmas pins are awesome. They are awesome. That's a good idea to add a little bit of Christmas hint. The Christmas pins. Did we do Christmas pins and artsy? <laughs> I can't remember. 
Yeah, I think we did. We did them both. I'm pretty we sure there's both? Christmas okay. artsy, so I'm going to guess that there is Christmas pins. Oh, hi, I, we, I feel like we started with that, like, way at the beginning. I think that was, like, our one of our first ones. Oh, no, that was our first one right there. Yeah, yeah. that was the first one we did. Yeah. There's a... Oh, I, oh, I love it. Oh, right? Maybe? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I, I think I need this star. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. I don't know if it's good that we talk about how much we love it, but, you know, you spend so much time in creating all these things that we do. We really uh -oh. put our whole heart and soul into every single thing that we create. And so it's good that we love what we create. We've always said we like to create for ourselves in a way, and it's just fantastic that other people like it too. But I know I was just was thinking it's funny we were just thinking the same thing. That's why we work so well together, Krista. Like I was thinking, is it weird just when I'm like, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that because it's our own stuff. But like, I don't, I don't think it ever comes across as like conceited or I don't know. I just like especially stuff that we made a, a while ago it's like you sort of forget you forget about them and then oh yeah, yeah. and Brings then back all the again, memory. like oh i do love that because i don't make anything that i don't look at and go oh i love that like i really don't and so to see it again it's like yeah that's I, oh i like that you know well duh, of course you do because <laughs> <laughs> but but like i don't know i hope that it doesn't come across weird but i i really do just Oh, so fun to look at. Oh my goodness. That was our first that was our first pin pack right there. Yeah. That we yeah. made. It was the original pins. Mm-hmm. So that was cute. for a different fan anniversary, wasn't it? Uh yeah, I think we two two fan anniversaries ago. So like when, Yeah. So our four year one, right? Because we did we did beginnings and then we did the pin packs. And the artsy all during that first, or not first, the second anniversary we ever did. So, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, four years. Wow, it's crazy. This is so that fun. Seems longer than it should be. I never, I never <laughs> yeah. get to like view Just everything like this. A show to look through Cheryl's collection. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's like a flip through. This is the eight years right here. We're watching it fly by. We're watching it just fly by. <laughs> Our eight years of work. It's crazy. Mm. I liked the leading up to the magic. Um, primarily because the one time that we went, we decided like two days before we left to go. And we bought the tickets, the package, and everything. And the kids were like, freaking out that was fun so mm -hmm. fun it's always fun just to like the whole surprise or whenever you tell them it's always fun to yeah, we're like part huge part planners so to have um do i not have the christmas are you kidding me i got that <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we overplan everything. So when we um, when we went that time, it was just fabulous for uh, you know just hanging out. We just kind of did whatever we wanted to do and didn't do the others. It was hot because we went July Fourth weekend, and oh we went out during one day, and that was a mistake. So we waited and basically we did after hours, um, you know, we did late afternoon, evening, and then after hours and then slept during the morning and afternoon. Um, right. So it was kind of out of necessity because, you know, it was kind of, it was a little hot, it was a little hot. The last trip we yeah. went in was the end of November and it was much better for I do have Christmas. Thank you. I was gonna say I'm almost <laughs> positive I've seen you scrap with it before, so I'm I'm sure you have it. Yeah. 
fireworks always look awesome for July 4th. Jeanette says she's seen the videos. Did you get to see the video, the fireworks, Cheryl? Are they different than the regular ones? Uh, the fireworks. Um, uh, on the 4th sorry. of July. On the 4th of July, yeah. Oh my God, they were incredible. You can't watch um, regular fireworks after that. <laughs> <laughs> like we just don't even bother going to see local fireworks anymore it's just like it you know we live in a small town anyway so it's like uh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it's good to, it does ruin you but um it was it was fabulous and we decided we caught them because they did a july 3rd um fireworks show and then july 4th and um we decided to hang out and see them. I think we watched them both times. Disney fireworks always make me really emotional because they always play the music and they get yes. you like, you know, down memory lane. And it, it always makes me so emotional. A any of their mm -hmm. fireworks. Mm -hmm. Sparkle. Yeah, that fits. That's from Christmas. See, I told you there's stuff in that Christmas kit that we needed. <laughs> it needed to happen. So cute. Okay. And then here's the pins. Oh, look, it's a heart. We must, we must. I learned the a heart. secret about Fantasmic recently, Natalie, that I never knew before. <laughs> and now I want to go to Disney and see it. Did you know that Ariel has to stay on the boat? Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know this. What? And then I, okay, I was on TikTok and I ran across the secret and then somebody actually tagged a girl who played Ariel who said, oh, yeah, this is what we used to do. We used to, you know, you take the, the cloak and you throw it over and Prince Eric makes sure you're okay. And then you're sitting under this thing and just hoping it doesn't hurt you. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I would have yeah, never thought that happens. She has to stay on the little boat that she comes across on because she's like, you know, in her fin form. And they whip her over this blanket. I've seen like a video of it. It's bizarre. But you don't notice it during the show. They do it. They do such a great job. Oh, that tree's perfect. See? Yeah, oh, it's perfect. Loving this. Perfect. <laughs> Remember those neon tree things? Those were Chris's like idea in our Christmas kit. I don't remember where you were. You were inspired by some somewhere, something you saw somewhere, and you were like, "We need these trees, these like modern, yeah, funky trees." And I was like, I "Okay." Think, <laughs> Gap that year. Gap had like, like Gap, yeah. yeah, Gap ad, and I'm like, I'm obsessed with this Gap ad. We ha must make a collection with it. <laughs> I think that's where the whole collection came from. Yeah, <laughs> this is Gap ad, <laughs> which is funny that we made a Disney Christmas kit based on a Gap ad, but yeah, you know. Our methods That's how are creatives weird. are our methods inspired. <laughs> we can't we can't just help our weird methods. <laughs> oh man, so cute. Yeah, I learned oh. that both um Ariel and Tinkerbell are the two characters that get like hazard play at Disney because of these two things. And I'm like, that's oh really God. funky. I would have never thought about that. <laughs> yeah. What? You mean the Tinkerbell that has to fly over the castle or fly to the castle? Yep. yep. Oh, interesting. And apparently they used to do that interchangeably men and women, but now they have to stay to women because of the high definition cameras people have now. Oh. I was like, huh, I didn't know. I learned random things on TikTok lately. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> There's some fabulous makeup jobs too for Disney princesses on, make on TikTok. <laughs> Man. Oh, so cute. I can't. I love <laughs> cats like you know random facts today. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I blame it on my husband. My husband's the one who got me started playing on TikTok. Is that weird? I think it's weird. You totally oh. go down the rabbit hole once you get on. It's like, I'll get on to like, look at one thing my daughter sends me. And then all of a sudden, an hour later, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of it, I think. <laughs> so they're, doing, they're doing their job. Well, let me just say, my husband 
I hadn't heard him laugh that hard in such a long time. He would just go back. He'd be like, I'm going to go lay down. I'm like, okay. And you'd hear him back there with the door shut. He's howling with laughter <laughs> at those TikTok videos. And um, he said, he called it, I'm TikToking. Equals a time waster. It it totally is. I it just sucks you in. It like I said, every time I go on it, all of a sudden an hour will pass by, and I'm like, that was the biggest waste of an hour. But it's fun. It I don't. Yeah, I don't have it, but um, I yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't have time. I don't, I don't have time I've watched enough from him showing yeah. me. Oh my gosh, you got to see yeah. this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. you got to see this. <laughs> well, and my daughter sends me at least one thing every day that I she wants me to watch, so that's why I have it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else anybody wants me to add from another? <laughs> I think I'm. I don't know, but I'm like amazed at how Christmas. I mean, I was I was saying put the Christmas stuff on, but as you were going, I'm like I'm amazed at how the Christmas stuff actually really did perfectly match this mm. kit. Right. I love the pink tree on there. Yes, and it's I love so how you cute. touch that black spray tree at the bottom left corner. It's so cute. Yes, like I adore yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I moved it down there just to where I got the good paint and stuff behind it. So. Yeah. I'm in love with this whole page. I am too. I do. You know, I do I need one more it. thing. I need, um, I just realized it. Um, Okay, so I've got mm -hmm. the blue, but I don't have any green. I've got to. I need oh, some green. like lime green. Mhm. Mm a little bit of that. Yeah. Put that under that Mary, and then it says Merry Christmas. Yep. Cute. You like Christmas, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so smart to bring in that lime green. I kind of wouldn't have even thought of it, but. It would sure enhance the photo, that's for sure. And then I'll add these little holly leaves. The chat wants to make sure you remember to put your date on there, Cheryl. Yes, I'm going to add that and show my other little tip for people who haven't um, been here before. Because I like this. And you know what I do? May... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, go for it. And people may already use it, but um, in Photoshop CC, uh, I like that you can star your favorites. Uh, so instead of having to look through hundreds, you can just click on that star. And these are, you know, the ones I use the most. Oh, I totally didn't know that. Yes. Wow, I, do that when I do that when we're working on kits, Krista. Like the the the, the oh. ones I'm using for the kit, I star them so that they're right there, easy to grab. Oh, my mind is kind of blown. I mean, I have an entire font, like a font um, program that I use. Right. But I am totally blown right now. I'm gonna go play with that <laughs> after. <laughs> there you go. So handy, very um, handy. And then, of course, you can. Um, you know, just see the Adobe fonts that you downloaded. And um, so I'm going to grab this little stamp. This, unfortunately, is not available anymore. I shouldn't use it, but um, to torture, I'm not trying to torture everybody. So if you <laughs> wanted an idea, a, a nice stamp would be a, a good one, designers. You know, not that we're hinting or anything. <laughs> yes, I, I actually. A, a stamp Delpho, you mean? Yeah, I don't. I've never, I've never, uh, I've never delved into making fonts. So, all right. So I'm gonna. A stamp That's a font. good one, though. Alphas are really cute. We have some of them, but Cheryl and I are kind of lazy. <laughs> alphas yeah, take a lot of time of dragging on each individual. Yeah. <laughs> when I do a date, I don't want an alpha. I want a font for sure. I have it. Well, the one that I use, I think it's just still available. Like it's similar. It's not actually as cute as yours. Yours is actually much cuter. But I have a similar one that I use for dating. I'm gonna look if I find it real quick. Hang on. All right. So I'm gonna lower the opacity just to two. All right. So that's nice and dated. 
And so that was a tip about your text. Also, I'm going to save this before I forget to. Okay, here's, I'm putting in the link in the chat, but this is the stamp, the font I use for doing my stamp dates. The only problem with this font is it doesn't have the little slashes. So if you wanted to do like 03 slash 02 slash 2021 or whatever, um, it doesn't have those. And so I just borrow, I just highlight them and borrow them from another. Yeah, font. I think I have so, that one already. Let's see. It's not great, but it's okay. It's called Stampede. Sometimes free, you put up with some things. Right, exactly. Yep, there it is right there, yep. Stampede. Stampede. So it's similar. but Yes, very similar. Yep. I'll show you what. Yeah, so it's going to give you the very similar look. Yeah, that does look similar. I just keep thinking I need to just find a stamp set I like and just stamp. <laughs> oh, thank right. you for... Um, sharing that because I have people that ask and I'm always like oh I, the place that I downloaded it from no longer exists can't download it anymore I'm like oh, I'm sorry that's my favorite one though all right and I think what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna I, add my I was gonna say before you move on too far I was gonna say um before we get too far into it it's like one trick that I, like you were like realizing, oh, I want to tie in this like lime green color. And for one thing I find that I, cause I, th I think the same thing when I'm scrapping is like, oh, I kind of missed out on that color. I look at what I have that's easy to recolor. So like, I'll look at like the, 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 the paint like from Artsy or something. And right. I'm like, I know I could make that paint green. And then that would immediately like pop in like that lime green yeah, without so having to like, Hunt down colors. I'm not saying you should do it. I was just saying for people. No, no, no. Let's, who are let's see. For ideas. Let's see. Let's sample from the little holly berries, and let's um, let's put it above this aqua. Mm -hmm. Maybe bright, like a bright, brighter lime or something. Brighter, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's just the one little trick. Like if I was doing. An ink color, like maybe the ink yeah. behind your magical card, since you already got black card, gotcha. you, could use, you know, green ink or something. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I just was thinking maybe that's a, a trick that people wouldn't have thought of. I also would do something easy like the date. Um, yeah. That would be easy yep. to. Or even my journaling, like I'll I'll do my journaling in red or something. Oh yeah, see that's mm -hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. And I like that spot that you mentioned you're going to journal there, Cheryl. That mm -hmm. I think that would Perfect. totally complete the page. Yeah. And so Perfect. what? one of the things I do like to do is um, I like to have word strips. So when I look at um, paper layouts, uh, a lot of times people will either print it out on their, um, you know, printer and then they cut the strips out or they type it on a typewriter and cut the strips out. But I like the look of that. So what I'll do is um, come here and grab this. And then I'll just type in, um, you are so lucky to see me. So, So while Cheryl does that randomly, Britt, I noticed that that font, the guy actually sells it on his website for $12 if you wanted all the glyphs to go with it, with the dashes and stuff. Oh, how have I never known that before? Because I've definitely used it more than $12 worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that I just would have been worth my $12 10 trial. years ago. <laughs> yeah. Incomplete uh, trial. He has the whole thing available on his website, complete with all the pieces. <laughs> Oh no! After this is over, I'll be purchasing that. It has Thank like you, the Joe quotations Bob. cat. 
And then the dashes and the pluses, dollar signs, all of those little symbols to go with it. Courtney, you just like, <laughs> you're just so helpful. <laughs> all right, so I'll switch over to white. And usually what I'll do is I'll just go to my um, custom shape tool, which is that blob. I don't know, it kind of looks like Patrick from SpongeBob. That's what I always think about. <clears throat> Custom shape tool. It's down on the bottom under your text tool. But um, I'm going to grab just the square here. And then I'll go underneath and just make a little strip. Such an easy way to make custom strips just to fit it perfectly. Yep. yep. You know, just if you, you know, like that look, it gives you a little. I love kind of, this look. Mm-hmm. Journal then, strips are so cute. I love it. And then you can add your shadow and then. Oh, I know where she's going with this, guys. <laughs> yeah, and you can use the paper warping um, action, um, but I'm going to use the smudge tool instead. Here we go with the smudge. If you missed the whole in-depth smudge tutorial, <laughs> right? <laughs> we, did that. we did that on the first night too, right? Yeah, that was the first night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like little tiny things I like to do. Amazing. Okay. So you can see. And they're always little and tiny things that I go make such an impact, but am I lazy enough to just ignore it or do I want to make it look pretty? <laughs> right. You have to be in the mood. That, for me, I have to be in the mood. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think I'm going to move that. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch that. I'm going to have to go watch that. <laughs> Everybody in the <laughs> chat room is like, what? I'm glad you recorded it. I got to go see this. <laughs> Yeah, we did the smudge trick. It was because it blew my mind because I've never done it. And now, guess what? Today, when I was scrapbooking, I used it like five times. Really? So, Yay! Yes, I did, and I love it. Yay. Well, that's kind of like having our minds blown earlier with the whole burn under the thing to make it show up. And you're like, wait, right? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's funny what you just do if you just think like I don't know. I just never really thought that was like that big of a thing, but it's funny. <laughs> You just do things that you assume everybody's doing, I guess. Yes. So Angela asked what we use the smudge tool for. Basically, I've only used it only for shadows. I don't think I've used it for anything else other than shadowing. Have you guys used the smudge tool for anything else? Mm, nope. No. I have used it to blur people in the background. Oh, um, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. On like a photo? Use, yeah. So mostly I use the blur tool for that, but. Sometimes the smudge tool works a little better. Sometimes I don't care enough to go, like do the blur tool, but so I'll just like blur like maybe their face slightly. Mm. Or if you catch yeah. somebody doing something, you're like, I don't want that there. Yeah. Yeah, there was the picture. Oh God, I think it was at the beach and there was a man and I, we didn't even realize what he was doing. Like, I think he was adjusting his swimsuit or something. <laughs> that pretty bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember where that particular one is, but holy <laughs> cow. When we saw the <laughs> saw the pictures, we were like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. We get so oh, tickled. So funny. Okay. So we have a few people left to start going. I don't know if you're finished yeah, with the yeah, recording, let's go ahead. Cheryl. Yep. Let's go ahead and end when this will be the last of the live sessions, but there's still much more fun to have. When are you, uh, when are the last deadlines for doing stuff, Krista and Britt? On Monday, so, we're yeah. kind of 
celebrating until Monday. So yep. yeah. Monday, like Monday night, midnight, Monday night. We okay. we say when the clock strikes 12 at Disneyland. So Monday midnight at Pacific time. That's yeah. kind of when it all is due. <laughs> um, I see somebody said, where will we see the recordings? The one from last night will be the first one to go up and then today's session. So they, they should be all uploaded tonight. Um, and I'll put the links to the YouTube um, and a couple of different places on Facebook in the Project Mouse group. And um, for those of you that want to participate in, because Cheryl does these Cheryl scraps all the time. So Cheryl, yeah. how often do you do these? I mean, if people want to like continue and watch you learn, you yeah, don't yeah. always scrap with Project Mouse, but when do you do these? Um, it's the first Thursday of the month. And Courtney's my um, partner in crime, and we usually talk a lot about food. <laughs> <laughs> we do talk scrapping, but we do talk a lot about food. And um, I do share really tricks for tricks. <laughs> and, and, and singing. You need, yes, you do singing. <laughs> I do a little singing. And uh, yeah. Okay, so let me stop the recording here, and we'll get your. Um, little prizes out. So long, farewell.